La, what to speak of our property? Our property is only an extension of the very property of Allah ourselves. So the idea, we easily forget that it's, it's given by Allah. And that's why there's an ikhtisas here. There's a special tawheed here. That's why it's muqaddam for grammar students. مِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ Notice also that Allah says, from what we provided them, they spend. In other words, the only past tense in the ayah is provision. Allah says they believe, present tense. They establish the prayer, present tense. They spend, present tense. But providing, He didn't say, مِمَّا نَرْزُقُهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ He said, مِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ From what we provided them, they spend. So what's the point of using the past tense here? Of the many benefits, think of it this way. You don't have to wait for Allah to provide you until you spend. Some people say, I will give sadaqah. I will give when Allah gives me. Right now, not right now, Allah hasn't given rizq yet. فَحِينَ مَا يَرْزُقُنِي When He gives me, then I'll spend. Allah Azza wa is saying to every single human being, I've already given you. You already have something. If you only have two dates, give me one of them. If you just have an apple, give me a slice. If you have youth, give me some of it. If you have energy, give me some of it. If you have talent, give me some of it. Everybody's been given something. You wouldn't be breathing on this earth if you weren't given rizq. Allah is not just giving this ayah to millionaires. And He doesn't care how much you give. He doesn't care about that. He cares about the quality of what you give, not the quantity. These quantities mean nothing to Allah. Somebody donates $20,000. Amazing. Somebody donates $2. Not that amazing. Not to us. But the guy who has 20,000, maybe he owns 20 million. And the guy who gave $2 only has $10. You know those $2 are more valuable to Allah than those 20,000. For us, we're like, oh, $20,000 check. Wow, this is going to help a lot. And the $2 bill, or the $2, two single dollars, we're like, eh, uh, inshallah more will come. But you don't know that those $2 are more blessed by Allah. And they will bring more good than the 2 million you might raise. Because of the, the intention that came behind it and the sacrifice that came behind it. And when someone internalized from whatever little Allah has given me, I will come forward. This is why Allah says later on in the Quran, Infiru khifafan wa thiqalan. Come forward, light or heavy. Doesn't, don't ever underestimate what you have to give. You know? Little kids, we should give them practice. Little, uh, some of our kids collect coins. And they have just pennies. And they take half their pennies and put them in a sadaqah box. Right? And it's not valuable to you, that's why you gave it to your kid. And it might not even feel valuable to the one who's collecting the, 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 the funds at the end, opening the box and going through it. It's like, ah, people put pennies in here. But to that child, that's like his, her life savings, man. That was a big deal to her that she did that and she sent that present to Allah. So don't underestimate the value of your giving, whether it's small or big. This is وَمِمَّا 